Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts and today I'll be reviewing set number 75126, the first order snow speeder microfighter. Set came out in the year 2016, came with 91 pieces and a one minifigure as all microfighters do. This came out to go alongside with I think The Force Awakens 2016, I think The Force Awakens came out in 2015, so it was around that time. But anyway, let's take a closer look at it. So taking a first look at the set, you can see the minifigure included is a first order snow trooper, which you probably have never heard of if you only watched the movies because I think this is from a deleted scene. So it's not really a character that existed in the movies, but it was supposed to. And then you can see the vehicle on the left is actually a downsized version of an actual Lego set based on a deleted scene. It's very strange. I don't know why they decided to make a microfighter about a deleted scene, but anyway, let's take a look at the play features. One of the main play features of the set is you are able to put your minifigure right here. This is a four stud connection, so it'll be very secure. You just stick him back here and then he can kind of pilot the vehicle. He's also supposed to grab onto this gun in the front, although it's kind of difficult to do that because you have to like tilt his hands in the correct way and then pull the gun over to it. It's very difficult to do, but I'm sure you could do it. It just would take a little bit, but you can pretend he's operating this stud shooter turret in the front, which launches just like that normal stud shooter. But something very nice about the set is it also includes a blaster, just a normal blaster to snap on top. So you can kind of give it extra firepower, or at least I think this is what this is for. It's kind of hard to get it up there, but it does provide some storage for his weapon. And we'll talk more about his weapon later, but you can do that if you want. It looks a little funky. I'm guessing that's what this thing is for. It might be a scope, but you can store his weapon up there. It does look very strange though. <laughs> And really, that's all the play features this set has. I mean, you can move it on these nice pieces on the bottom. They have these flat pieces that allow it to slide, but really those are the only play features in the set. It is a microfighter, so it won't have that many. Taking a look at the minifigure in this set, this is a First Order Snow Trooper, like I said before. Not actually from the movie, but I think he looks super cool. This was actually probably one of my favorite minifigures when I was younger. And as you can see, he includes this nice little blaster to the side of him. Very nice inclusion in old battle packs this is something I've complained about for a long time. If you've been a fan of the channel, you remember I hate it when LEGO includes stud shooters in battle packs because it makes the minifigure very oversized and they're very kind of top heavy and they'll fall down a lot. But I really like the inclusion of the blaster. I just think it looks a lot better. Taking a look at some of the details of the minifigure, he has a great helmet piece, which I think is unique to this minifigure. I'm not really sure. It looks very nice with some nice printing on the back. And then he has some very nice detailing on the torso and legs. Very nice for a microfighter, although they usually try really hard to make the minifigures and microfighters really good because I feel like that's one of the main reasons people buy them. But I think it looks really nice. And then he doesn't have any arm printing. That could be something you would want on this figure. I'm not sure if 2016 was before LEGO did that, but it would look pretty cool with that. And he does have a backpack as well, which is a really nice inclusion. Add some extra detail to the minifigure. And underneath the helmet, there is the Angry Gur clone face, which... Not anything special, but I think it fits with this guy because you're not really going to be taking his helmet off very often. So talking about accuracy with this set, the really the only thing I can compare it to is the bigger model Lego made. And I'd say this is a pretty nicely made downsized version of that because there is no source material to base this on. I mean, you probably can look up the deleted scene and find some source material, but I think this looks very accurate to the bigger Lego set. Has some nice small details like this lightsaber piece on the side. I think that looks really nice there. And the motors even have these orange pieces to kind of represent the fire coming out of the end. I think that's pretty nice. It is a very nicely designed microfighter. So if you were to display it, it would look pretty good. Although I don't know many people that choose to display microfighters, but it is very nicely designed. So talking about value or price per piece, I say the set is a pretty good value at retailing for only $9.99 with 91 pieces. That is about 10 cents per piece. And you do get some bigger parts and a great minifigure. I really like the details on him. You also get a nice Lego blaster instead of just a stud shooter, but they also did include the stud shooter, which is very nice. So I'd say the set is pretty decent value for money. It has good price per piece as well. So if you were to buy this for $10, it definitely would be worth it. So overall, I'd say this set is an eight out of 10. It has some great value for money, a great minifigure in my opinion, and it is an okay build. It is kind of a little bit boring. I've always not really been a big fan of the build. It's just like a gray ship, but it is actually really nicely designed with some of the small details on it. It just has never been my favorite. So overall, I think it's an 8 out of 10. The minifigure is definitely amazing. Probably one of my favorite minifigures in a microfighter, even though it's just a trooper. I think he looks super cool. And like I said before, he was one of my favorite minifigures as a kid. So it might be some nostalgia here, but he is super cool. So overall, I think it's an 8 out of 10 set. So there you have it, guys. That was my review of set number 75126, the first order snow speeder. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.